three kilos. Well, I'm just, I'm just cleaning this up with this barkeeper's friend. I was going to use the ketchup, but somebody recommended this and I already had some. And I've made it into a paste and put it on with a toothbrush. It says you have to leave it for a minute and then rinse it off. But I'm not convinced it's going to come up. I think it's just old metal. Yeah. This bit shows signs of um, gold on it. I don't actually think it's brass. I think it was just coloured gold. Right, okay. Wow. So I'm going to rinse that bit off in a minute. But you can see bits of gold on that. Yeah, okay. But I don't think it's brass, it's just metal. I've um, unhooked our big cannonball weight. Um, I've taken it out of here. There's no point it being here. We're not going to uh, use it as any sort of counterweight. Uh, interestingly, it's got the number three embossed on it. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. Um, that's quite heavy. feels heavier than three kilos, but anyway. And I've also measured from the ceiling to the top of my head, we've got 1.2 metres. But obviously we don't want to cut it too fine. So, roughly to the bottom of that is 1.2. So it's going to hang down just a bit lower than we need want it. So Have you got room for 1.2? It touches your head. Oh right. Okay. So it's not. So um, I think we take one of these. We've got to off. take at least one of them off. And that one's bent, so that can come off. I'm just going to go and rinse this. <clears throat> okay, so take. Yeah, I'll take that. So we're going to take the bottom one off, and it should just unhook. Yeah. Right, should we put this together? Mm. Okay, so there we have it. Um, it didn't clean up very well, but it doesn't it's, matter. It has cleaned up. Um, a bit better, but it doesn't matter. No, it's going to be... Look, we didn't want it overly clean, mm -hmm. but... Uh, so we took the weight out, but the problem was the weight holds the ball down, so we fixed these chains. Yeah. There. So, so that's going to hang down nicely. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to wire it up. Yeah. The wire's already in, so uh, let's go and do that. Got to find a bulb. Find a bulb? Yep. A bulb? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said a bulb. No, a bulb. <laughs> All right. First things first, turn the electric off. <laughs> I always find that's the best thing to do. <laughs> right, let's have a look. <laughs> take, take, take three. <laughs> Max, is so Max is playing up today. <laughs> he does it on purpose so he gets a treat. <laughs> right, we're going to go with it this time, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> has moved the yoke light over <laughs> is because 
<laughs> You're an attention seeker. Because we've spun the kitchen around. <laughs> Just pick him up. Um, when we first moved in here, we had the table in front of us with the hob on because we haven't actually got a sink in this ancient kitchen. We have to go out here to the modern kitchen. Um, yeah, and the, oven, the oven's there as well, so yeah. to be this end of the kitchen was the most convenient. Um, but it was just a temporary thing, really. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> this could take a while. Right, come on then. So, um, while I was in the UK, I had a little rethink about the layout. And... Because we're now using the log burner, we did like the idea of having a sofa here, but I don't think there's enough room. No, too cramped. And um, so we've got the eating area this end, and we've put the hob that end. And I think we can't decide whether we're going to have the sink on the back wall or the hob on the island. I don't know yet, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh... But I think the whole functional part of the kitchen is going to be behind the camera yeah. in that corner where the alcove is that I painted red the, uh, the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you don't come in and you've suddenly got this table yeah. that stops in front of you. So this is social. That's functional. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're planning. But, you know, is we're it... just going to wait and see. Uh, we haven't decided fully yet, but I think that's going to be the layout. It's a bit awkward because... We haven't got the sink, so we're cooking up there and then we're having to walk all the way through here now. Yeah, the fridge is there, the oven's yeah. there, so... So the fridge will go on the wall to the right here. Yeah. Um, it's the shame about the boiler being in the way because I'd have it all over there, but... Yeah, well, we still don't really know no. what we're going to do over there yet because of the boiler. We, you know, we're hoping that we can completely eradicate the boiler from that corner of the room. Yeah. And if we do, we could put some seating there. Uh, or the, we've got to have somewhere for the oven and things. Yeah, it could be the oven over there, I don't know, but we'll work it out. So yeah. we've had a little jig around, yeah. and that's how we're working. And it, it feels a lot bigger and more open in here now. Yeah. And obviously the next time Susie goes to the UK, we'll um, shift it around again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, sorry about the, um, the light, the camera work in here today, because it's the greyest, dingiest day out there. And um, this room does struggle when it's like that. We've put a bit of lighting up, so it helps it. But um, it's never easy filming in here when it's like this. But hey ho! Oh, you nearly put my eye out then. <laughs> anyway, we thought we'd just give you a quick uh, rundown on our thoughts for the kitchen. Now, you also have another idea for the pantry. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> it's a good idea. Okay. So, we pantry. have actually got two doors into the pantry, and one is in the hallway out here. We don't know why, but um, that used to be the outside of the house there. We'll, we'll show you another time. Yeah, yeah. But my thinking was to block this doorway up. The walls are about that deep, and we just have shelves in there. We can put some more logs at the bottom and put some books oh. and things on there yeah and, well, and, and also it's very cold there because you get the cold air coming in yeah um, yeah and it, it's more practical with the seating area there yeah I think the biggest problem we've got in this room it's a nice size room but we've got four doors mm -hmm. um, so behind me the boot room the door going out to the courtyard and this and it really limits the um, the use of the walls and um, we thought, well, if we have a seating area here, we could put all our cookbooks and that sort of things in there. It means that we'd have to access the pantry via the hallway, uh, where our fuse board is at the moment. So we'd have to get that moved, um, the electric uh, consumer board, uh, because that's where it's been bricked up into the pantry. Why it's been bricked up, we don't know. Now, my first thought when Susie thought, mentioned it was that that's not really going to be practical because we're in the kitchen 
and then having to go to the pantry. But actually, you don't go to the pantry that often. No, because um, it's more of a storeroom. It's more of a storeroom for your tins and whatever. Um, so at the moment, I'm going in there two or three times every time I cook anything because, you know, I've got the pans and uh, the other dishes and that sort but of thing in there. But they're not going to stay but in They there. won't be in there. They'll, they'll be in the kitchen. They'll go over that side. And all, we'll, all that will be was will be occasional sort of tins and whatever, which... You know, you go to the pantry once a day or something. And, it's it's and not really going to be a group. Wine store. Or wine store. <laughs> um, or yeah. beer store. But, yeah, more appropriate. Um, and entering the pantry from the hallway isn't... Ha- having thought about it, it's it's okay, actually. Yeah. Um, so... And, and may... you actually have got the boot room behind you with shelves on, so you could yeah. put things that you use more out there. Yeah. Because that's well. cold as well. Um, and above the pantry door here, we've never shown you because we never you we haven't used it yet. There is actually a cupboard up there, so we can utilise that. So uh, the other thing is, that whole frame has got to come off. It's oh, it's all crooked and it's, it's falling off. It's terrible, really. So I have the, to start getting The top getting of the there. cupboard goes like that. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's at an angle. Um, so yeah. we have to do something major with that anyway. So we thought, well, yeah, block it off and yeah. go in via the hallway. So. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, like, as I said, the walls are about a foot and a half deep, so you, you can get some oh, nice shelving. We can insulate, shelving, yeah. insulate the back of it. Yeah. Uh, and that'll just free up a wall, so we can make yeah. use of it. So, yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. Perfect. That's the plan. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. With or without? Let me have a look. Get out of the way. It, it is nice with it, but I want it to have a sort of medieval look. So an older look, and the, the shade dates it, doesn't it? To the, they, the shade is a bit Victorian. Victorian, Ed- Edwardian, that sort of era. Yeah. So shall I try that again? Mm. It's um Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. I think someone's shortened the chains at some point. Yeah, because it's touching here. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think they probably have. Right, so I think the first thing is the bulb, we've just found a random bulb to put in there. Yeah. I think a slightly more ornate bulb, you know. Um, one of those orangey filament ones. Yeah, I think that Do you would... want to try this one? I don't know. Okay. If that's a different colour. I'll switch it. Alright, swapping bulbs. Okay, but I like those um, ones, like we've got in the kitchen, okay. with the orangey filament in. Right, so we need a new light bulb. Yeah. So is the decision with or without? I think it looks more medieval looking without the shade. Yeah, I think you're right. I, d- I don't dislike the shade. No, I don't, actually. Like There's no right or wrong. No, no. It's whatever we feel, but the bulb's not right, no. so we need a... A better bowl, yeah. different bowl. Okay, are you going to leave that one in for now? Um, no, I'll put this one in and I'll okay. put that one back in the box. Okay, so better bowl yeah. and then we'll go and have a look at the one downstairs. Then. Yeah. Right.
got to make a slight adjustment to the chains on this ball here. It's just to one side, but we can worry about that another time. It's probably that one. Yeah. So we can adjust that. That's not a problem. Um, right. So I shall go and get her ladyship. So is it with or without? I think the same as upstairs. I like it, but I yeah. want it to look more medieval looking. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame because they are nice yeah. as they are, but um, yeah, I think so. I think you're right. It um, looks older without shade, doesn't it? Mm. Which is what we're trying to achieve. Um, and somebody suggested um, I can put some candles in there just for show. Obviously, I wouldn't like them, but um, they said you can get remote control. That was Gary in the UK, who apparently has got 120 of these things in his house. <laughs> I hope he likes them. <laughs> With remote control candles. Yeah, he recommended uh, remote control candles in here. We've had a look, but I haven't seen any. No, we haven't been able to find them, so I don't know whether they have them over here. Mm. We could and, uh, maybe go on Amazon or somewhere, but uh, that would be a good idea because it would give us a bit more light here and then where I've got to rewire all these, that would be a nightmare. Mm. Um, but the decision seems to they, be... They weren't wired anyway, they, they were for candles. Yeah, they were for candles, obviously. So, so. How many candles? Four candles, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Neither would be one of it. <laughs> uh, okay, so the decision is without. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think it's quite <laughs> nice that it is. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We just need to straighten the ball up. <laughs> yeah, well, there's it's this back chain for some reason, so we've just got to make a slight adjustment. And I've got to repair the ceiling, which is why I've left the rose just a little bit away from the ceiling. But uh, we'll get onto that. But okay, so we now have these instead of those little chandeliers, mm -hmm. which I prefer actually. So I like this. Yeah. Bye.